Hi there, it's Sarah West at Little Minds at Work with a video preview of my Guided Phonics and Beyond freebie toolkit. Everything that you see here in this video will be a freebie and I'll have it linked all for you. The covers match the color codes of my Guided Phonics and Beyond curriculum. So you have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. There are also some black and white options if you just want to do a standard label for all of the units and not change it out per the, the unit that you're in. Let's take a look at what's inside. Um, knowing that there are no st stipulations on what you put inside the toolkit, you could put anything inside the toolkit. This is just kind of a starting spot for you. This is another freebie component that's in the same document. And here it's a say it, tap it, map it, write it. I'm using it kind of more as a visual so that the, you can remind them to say it, to tap their sounds, to map it, and then write it. But you could also have this piece laminated and it be inside their board and they actually do the writing on this sheet of paper. And here I have my poppets. These are really popular for the students and the teachers. Um, a lot of teachers say, hey, where do you get just green, yellow, and red? For the most part, that's not an option that's available to us at this time. So you do usually have to buy a kit that has different colors. Um, know that in my program, I use green, yellow, red, and I also use orange when using CBC eWords. Uh, but I use these colors and they do, you can see me, I snapped them apart. They snap together so you can put them in order. And thankfully, they are pretty tough to unsnap. So hopefully the students aren't unsnapping. It's a novelty item. It's definitely not necessary, but basically the students would pop the sounds and then they could just flip it over and do it again. I also have magnet tiles in here. Again, nothing that you need to have in your toolkit. This is just another option if they are putting the words. So like, at, put it together, cat, or they can even snap it as they're going along, at. Again, that little click is just kind of helping them practice those words. I have the Google Eye Rings. Those are really popular. Those are common to be used when decoding um, if their students are reading. Cars are really great for fluency or for putting sounds back together. For example, k at cat. Again, novelty. It's not necessary, just another option we have. Snap cubes are a great option for putting sounds back together, tapping sounds and words, whatever it might be. I have mine color coded to match my units. I have a rolling dot cube in here. A marker and these little syllable boards are an option. Um, the, well, I call them syllable boards, whiteboards, because they are designed as syllable boards from really great reading and they are the perfect size to fit inside the toolkit. And they're sturdy and a great option for that. I also have some clear bingo chips in here. And then these two sets of cards are freebies from my shop. I have a lot of freebie cards that will fit perfectly in here. This is just kind of showing you an example of some picture cards that are in there. And these are letter cards for word building. There is also a generic set that's not color coded, but if you want the color coded section, it's in there and basically the students could find the letters to build the word, that whatever word you're working on and they could write it as well, whatever you're seeing fit for their task. And then at the end, they would just kind of put it all back in and snap it shut and be good to go for another round. Again, all of this materials staying here, they are freebies. I also have the actual materials all linked in my Amazon shop. If you can't find that for whatever reason, just reach out to me and I can send you that comprehensive link.